On this video, the work discussed is the sculpture in front of Federal Hall, a building located on Wall Street in Manhattan. Going back to before the current structure was created, this was the site of New York's first city hall, a two-story building built in 1700 when New York was a colony of Great Britain. After the American Revolution ended in 1783, the building served as the meeting place for the Congress of the United States under the Articles of Confederation. Later on, in 1789, it was renamed Federal Hall when it became the first capital of the United States under the Constitution. The first United States Congress met there on March 4, 1789 to establish the new federal government, and the first thing they did was count the votes that elected George Washington as the first president of the United States. He was inaugurated on the balcony of the building on April 30, 1789. The original building was raised in 1812, giving way to the current classical marble structure. Finished in 1842, it became the country's first customs house. Later on, it became one of six United States sub-treasury locations. Millions of dollars of gold and silver were kept in the basement until the sub-treasury was replaced with the Federal Reserve Bank in 1920. The statue in front of the building is a bronze sculpture of George Washington created in 1882 by Ohio-born artist John Quincy Adams Ward. It was unveiled here in 1883 and marks the approximate site where Washington stood as he was inaugurated first president of the United States. This work draws heavily from a life-size marble sculpture of Washington in Virginia. Sculpted by French artist Jean-Antoine Houdon between the years 1785 and 1792, this early sculpture of Washington is considered to be one of the most accurate depictions of the subject. Not only is it accurate, it was also more accepted than the more idealized representations of this nation's founder. The fact that this work is more realistic does not mean it is less symbolic. Just like Houdon's work, the bundle of sticks tied together next to Washington are called the Fasces of Cincinnatus. Cincinnatus lived in Rome nearly 500 years before the Common Era. He was an aristocrat whose service as counsel and dictator made him a model of civic virtue. Historical literature relates the story of how in the year 460 BCE, Rome was in great danger. The leaders of Rome asked Cincinnatus to help them during the crisis. He served as dictator and managed to save Rome from succumbing to enemy forces. For this, Cincinnatus was honored and praised by his people. When the troubles were over, he did not try to remain dictator. He did not want fame. Instead, he returned to his home and his life as a citizen. Cincinnatus was a role model for Washington. After the American War of Revolution ended in 1783, George Washington returned to his estate in Virginia. Years later, in 1789, is when he became first president of the United States. Federal Hall is a national memorial. It's also a landmark and a museum. It is open free to the public from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, visit 5dguide.com.